Hello, welcome everyone. My name is Dhiman Dev Goswami and this is my channel, The Common Math. And today we have a question in front of us, which is very interesting to look at and very easy to solve. So if you want to give it a go by yourself, then just read it and try by yourself and pause it and try it. And if you want to go ahead, then let's start with it. So we have our question as solve for X. So what will be the value of X? And here it is an infinite loop of square rooting of 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20, plus 20 and dot, 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 as you can see. So what do we do in such cases? So as you can see, as the root over 20 plus this indentation keeps on going and going and going. So can I, it's very easier that x equals to root over, I can write 20 plus, and since after 20 plus is again root over 20 plus root over 20, it keeps on going. So it doesn't make a difference, right? So I can again write this part as x. It will make the difference, right? Okay, I'm just keeping out a 20 out. So therefore now, what do we have? We have x equals to root over 20 plus x. So now I square both sides. So I get x square equals to 20 plus x. That just implies x square minus x minus 20 equals to 0. So now this is a very simple one. We do the middle term split. So this implies x square minus 5x plus 4x minus 20 equals to 0. So now let's get some space here. As you know how the process have gone until now, I'm just keeping the last line and I'm removing the rest of it. So what do we, what are we going to get in our next step? Is that, so I take x common, this, this step implies x common, so x minus five, then plus four common, I'll get x minus five. So we know how to do the middle term split, isn't it? So this will imply x minus five, into x plus four equals equals to zero. So let me rub off so that there's no confusion. Let me rub off the last line from which we came to this conclusion. So now, as you can see, that from this we can say that x is either equals to five or x is either equals to minus four. Now, since x is a square root of a number, isn't it? So therefore x must have to be greater than zero, right? It's square root of 20 plus square root of 20. That not it, it's a square root of, okay? So square roots are always greater than zero. So x minus four cannot be our answer. So therefore x equals to five. Thank you so much.